What is up guys, Jack here and I am back with episode 11 of my West Ham United career mode. First things first, if you ever so kind to slap a like on this video if you are enjoying the series and also subscribe if you're new around here. And also why not uh, share the video on social media, I would very much appreciate it. So, first things first, we have an incredible game in the EFL Cup. It's the quarterfinals against Blackburn Rovers with the likes of Everton, Tottenham and Leicester still in the competition. It's a real massive opportunity for us to get some silverware if we get through past Blackburn who are obviously going to be up for it. With the likes of Marvin Emnes and Danny Graham up front, it's not a bad strike force for a championship side. Feeney is one to watch and you know, uh, Henley at the back and Stephen Hendry uh, obviously our player out on loan uh, definitely players to make note of but we do start with a 4-4-2 Ashley Fletcher gets his start along with Andy Carroll and I do listen to the comments in the comment section down below someone called for Ashley Fletcher to start and I've gone with your uh, your evaluation if you feel that then I will and he wins the ball back here for us in our first attack Ayu does find Fletcher whose shot is saved really well from still there as Noble gets onto the rebound try to make something work he does find Carroll turns away tries to get the shot away but Marshall does dispossess him so yeah for any suggestions in the comment section down below feel free to put them in I do uh, obviously reply to every comment so um, I would love your feedback Fletcher gets in another great position there but Carroll just couldn't turn that goal with says Noble with some space now does actually find R below the veteran right back finds Carroll lays it off into Fletcher here what can Ashley Fletcher do gets into a good position holds the bar finds Carroll first touch into Timothy Fosu Mensa and it is saved really well from still yet again as Noble now finds Fletcher who's been here there and everywhere for the hammers a deflection cross does find Carroll into the back and there straight down the middle there uh, goalkeeper I don't know really what he was trying to do on that occasion but Andy Carroll does find the back and there we have this lead in the EFL Cup obviously it's a massive burden off our shoulders there uh, Fletcher does get the assist for that goal so again he's making all the right moves of getting some more first team football that's for sure I mean he come on last episode if you missed that make sure you go check it out against Manchester United and he looked very lively in that game and um, he's looked live now against Blackburn so uh, really positive stuff there from Fletcher as Emnes gets into the ball does find Hendry with the first time shot there looking to stun us but we do hold on There's a, we're going at 1-0 at half time nothing really from threats from Blackburn uh, we've got a massive hold in this game and hopefully we'll continue it in the second half and breeze through into the semi-finals as Fosu Mensa finds Carroll back into Timothy Fosu Mensa and what an impressive display here from him he gets his shot away near deflects into the back of the net might I add there but Fosu Mensa what a brilliant player in centre defence and mid he has been uh, when he's called on substitute appearances when he plays uh, in the first team he really does put on a show and uh, we do win a penalty here as uh, the Blackburn player does take down Ashley Fletcher it was a penalty and Mr West Ham is going to step up himself Mark Noble here he goes. Is it going to be 2 0? Of course it is. Into the back of the net. West Ham double their lead uh, right up before the 55th minute mark. And to be fair, it was a really cool, calm, collective finish there from our captain. Um, keeper, no chance. You know, Mark Noble, brilliant from the spot, always confident, and he scores here today. So we're 2 0 up. We're cruising. We're in a really good position here. I really can't see Blackburn getting back into this game. They just haven't posed too much of a threat but speaking of uh, the threats now Danny Graham does come forward he's been really quiet today Reese Oxford had him in his pocket the ball comes in to Marshall at the back post and that really should have been 2-1 uh, there as Fernandez Ocantore and Tony Martinez we're trying to uh, you know experiment with the team here so uh, uh, Martinez does get his opportunities Tor gets into a really good position here tries to find Martinez gets crossed away to Andy Carroll on the edge of the box into Ayu Ayu what can he do here Holzbach finds Noble Noble does find uh, Andy Carroll that would have been a stunning goal but unfortunately Unfortunately, does go wide. Mark and denies Carroll his second of the game. Here's Tony Martinez here. Does really well to hold the ball up and actually plays through Andy Carroll here. Carroll, surely for his second. It's stopped again by Steele, who steers it around um, into the box. Torre picks it up into Noble. Noble plays it back into Edda Milson Fernandez. And it's just wide of the mark there. The game does come to an end, though. West Ham United are the two nil winners and do cruise into the semi finals where we could be playing either Leicester, Tottenham, or Everton. Obviously, Everton is the only team we've actually previously faced in this career mode so you know it's going to be an interesting game to say the least but Ashley Fletcher performing so well in when he's getting getting the opportunities an 8.9 rating from him um, th there's more to come from this boy and thank you to whoever commented in the comment section down below to use him because he really does look like a real talent and guys just a friendly reminder if you are enjoying the, the uh, episode make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you are new around here so Wales do come in with a contract offer for international football so like I said I take all your uh, your feedback on board do you reckon I should take this management deal obviously Wales are the ultimate underdogs in European uh, championships in last season so I definitely want to see what you think about that one or should I just reject it and wait for a bigger club to come in or national side should I say 
Uh, as you can see, the balls do actually give us a nod there of some good work as we do uh, sell the amount of shirt sales they did. Obviously, want us to sell at the start of the season. Now we get ready for an incredible London derby at the London Stadium. We're in second position. Arsenal now in near the top half. Not like them at all. Uh, a win here could really see us get a bit of a lead on some of the teams below us. But we do start with the, uh, the standard formation that we've been going with uh, for uh, since the start of the season. It's been working for us. Lanzini in behind Rashford, who's back from his injury. Um, we saw that last episode. Who's uh, you know, he hasn't really got himself into the groove. But a poor Arsenal side here, really. Not a team that poses much threat with the likes of Ramsey, Giroud, and Xhaka all on the bench. Cochrane and Elneri start. Uh, I woven and left. Welbeck, uh, Mustafi, and Holden at the back. As Rashford starts an attack here for the Hammers. Cresswell will get into a good position here. He's not going to get caught. He puts a great ball in. Rashford's free. And that's just wide of the mark there. But Marcus Rashford should really be doing better. Or at least finding the target from that position. As Kovacic comes forward now. Into Antonio. Marcus Rashford back into Lanzini. It's Manuel Lanzini. It's into the back of there. And this boy is in incredible form at the moment. He really is hitting the purple patch. Um, he's got a few great goals in Europe. If you missed that a couple of episodes ago, again, I recommend you go check it out. But what a finish that is from Manuel Lanzini. And I believe that was Rob Holden that come really close to stopping that there. But two goals in the Premier League. This boy is on fire at the moment. No one can stop Manuel Lanzini here. And uh, Arsenal, I believe, are here for the taking it. Arsene Wenger in this battle between the two London clubs is uh, losing at the moment as Rashford comes forward, to, splits the whole defence. And oh no, he really should have scored there. As we go into half time here, 1 0 up, should be 2 0. Marcus Rashford should have buried that effort there. Um, rather disappointing, but it happens in football. We didn't take our chances, and we need to just keep our heads up in the second half as Lanzini gets us on the counter attack here. Kovacic in support along with Marcus Rashford. Great play from the Croat as he does play through Marcus Rashford. Unfortunately, he is offside, though, as he does produce a really good save there from Ospina. As Arsenal come forward again now, Danny Welbeck into El Nuri. El Nuri does find Niles back into El Nuri again. The Egyptian plays off to Xhaka, and Adrian steers that around the post there. Good save from him as Andre Ayu, Gorkan Torre, and Harvard Nordvite all come onto the pitch now. Trying to make sure we've got um, a, a, not a spring in the step of the uh, second half as the game does wear on. As Mustafi gets a great opportunity here. Uh, trying to clear it away. It does fall back to the German. And Adrian again stops him in his tracks. 15 minutes left to go here. And Arsenal starting to get a bit of a hold on the game. Ramsey into Niles. Into Iwobi. Gets away from his man there. And the Nigerian puts it in to the top corner. 1-1. And Alex Iwobi scores here. Arsenal back on terms. And... It's rather frustrating, I'm not going to lie here. Uh, poor defender from Ogbonna, steps away from his man, and it really is a simple finish from Alex Iwobi there, who does, in fact, score his first goal in the Barclays Premier League this season. Rather shocking, actually. I thought he'd get some more game time, but it's going to give Arsene Wenger something to think about as the young talent does prevail here. As we get another chance now, trying to get an instant reply. Andre Ayew into the path of Torre, into Rashford, turns away from his man. It's Rashford. It's just past the post there. West Ham getting desperately unlucky as the ball comes forward again into Gork and Torre in the 90th minute here. He's in a great position. His players in support. A cross goal and that's an important clearance from Elneri there. That could have easily been 2-1 to West Ham and game over. It does come to an end here. Arsenal were there for the taking but they do hold on to what is them and seen as Arsene Wenger as a very good draw. So 1-1 on the day. Frustrating it happens but we have to move on and get ready for our next batch of games coming up. Um, Rashford takes on man of the match. He's back into the starting eleven. He's back getting man of the match awards. He really is a key talent for us, and we missed him when he was out injured. So it won't take. It will take him a while to get back into the group, but once he does, he really will be a good player for us. I can, I can just feel that he really is so good, um, and he's getting close to that 80 rated mark too, which is great to see. We do play our last Euro League game. We needed a win to come top of the group, and guess what? We come. We, we won the game two 0 Masaku and Faguli with the goals, and uh, we comfortably actually go into the next round of the knockout stages in Europe and uh, Fernandez does pop his head around the door and says uh, thanks for the minutes which uh, we're more than happy to be doing um, when he does prov pro provide performances that, that he does. As you can see though we do get four and a half million pounds in the Euro League which is great to see and uh, because we're at the end of the month or the start of a new month should I say we do look at a squad report. So guys I'm going to look at some how the players have grown obviously Sam Byron the plans for him is he will be coming back um, in January, we'll look to offload our Beloa. Obviously, we want to bring as much youth through as possible. Guys, thank you for joining me in today's video. If you did enjoy it, as always, make sure to smash the like on this video. Subscribe if you are new around here. Share the video on social media. I really, really appreciate it. Comment in the comment section down below any suggestions for the series. And wherever you are, whatever time you're watching this, enjoy your days, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.